So when you go to use your swivel knife, you want to make sure it's sharp. I use polishing compound on a strop. You want to make sure your blade is nice and sharp before you carve. Otherwise, you're going to have, uh, you're not going to be cutting deep or sometimes it'll pull on the leather. So making sure your knife is strop is very, very important. So for me, I start with my flowers. It's just kind of a personal preference thing. It's just something I like. As the video goes on, you'll see I do the same thing when it comes to the beveling, any, any of the tooling or any of that sort. I just prefer to start with the flowers. For me, it's kind of like the centerpiece of the vine work itself. So I've always liked to start with the flowers. So whenever you're carving really any tight turn like that, you just want to make sure your blade is straight up and down. Sometimes when you get to those curves, people kind of be lenient and they tilt their hand back and then sometimes you get undercut with your knife. So just making sure your blade is straight up and down will really help you out with those corner cuts. Next in line is the leaves. I'll just go through, go for the flowers, cut the leaves out just in that order. And then we'll go to the actual vine worker body itself. Every time I envision it, so same steps you'll see me drawing, flowers, uh, leaves, stems, it's just, it's in my own head, it's just the type of order I like to carve in. Uh, there's, there's no certain reason you have to do it that way, there's, it's just my own personal preference. Me, I like starting at the end of the pattern. It's just same way I draw, same way I tool. So I'll start at the end of the pattern and then we'll start at the flower right there at the stem. And then we start pulling all the floral back to where the pattern actually starts at. Start carving at the end, work all the way to the beginning. Just being very, very steady and patient. Don't try to rush the blade. Just get a nice smooth, just take your time making those long cuts. And that's, other than that, it's just a lot of practice. You wanna make sure your knife is always dropped and always sharp. That itself will help you get nice deep cuts. Then just doing little practice things, just practice starting deep and lightening up. It could be on scrap pieces of leather or really anything. I do it all the time. Uh, I just, you can never practice enough. But other than that, a really sharp knife is really what it comes down to when it comes to uh, getting nice deep and wide cuts. I just kind of feel what I'm comfortable with. You don't want to cut too, too deep, like you're cutting through the leather itself but then it really just depends on the ounce of leather you're working with. So obviously if you're cutting through 15, 16 ounce sow skirting, you don't want to go only at, say a centimeter deep. So it really just kind of depends on what you're working on and the thickness. But whatever you feel comfortable with, you want just a nice deep cut, nothing too, too crazy if you're cutting through the leather itself, because you go back through the bevel, there's a good chance you can go right through the back end of that leather.